today I will show you a few shooting and finishing drills that you can use. If you're a coach, you can implement this with your team's training sessions. If you're a player, you can do these drills with a few friends. I think shooting and finishing, it's something that should be practiced every single session. So many times you get into games and you're like, if only we finished our chances, we would have won the game. I hear that after every single game, but the truth is most teams, most players, don't practice shooting and finishing enough. So the drills I'm gonna show you today are great for shooting and finishing. They also work on movement and combination play. So let's go into the tactics board and I'll demonstrate how these drills work. For all of these drills, there were three players involved on the attacking side. Obviously the goalkeeper is involved as well in this drill, but a passive defender, a striker, and a midfielder. So for the first drill, very simple. The ball is first played into the striker. He holds up the ball, protects the ball. He is playing one touch, but make sure he focuses on protecting the ball with his body. Plays back to the midfielder one touch, peels off and receives a pass into feet where he has one touch to set and one touch to finish. He can also take that ball on one time and hit it first time if he feels that is the best decision. So just make sure the players are switching their angle of attack each time. They're going left and they're going right. The ball is played into the striker, he plays back, he peels out, he gets the ball into a feet, one touch to set, one touch to finish. And the player rotation after this, this ball is shot. This player, if he can, get the ball back and he'll come to the back of the line. The defender becomes the striker, the midfielder becomes the passive defender, and the next player in line becomes the midfielder. progression of this drill is we're working on a through ball. So same uh, format, three players involved, passive defender, striker, midfielder. First the ball is played into the striker, he plays back one touch, he starts making a run across the defender. Ball is played in behind, he has either one touch to set and shoot, or he can take that ball first time. So again, ball is played in, plays back one touch, makes his run, make sure he's looking across the line trying to stay on side. Ball is played in behind, the defender can hit that first time or take a touch and then finish. Again, make sure that they're switching their point of attack, playing from both sides, working on both feet. Ball is played to the striker, he plays back one time, makes a run across the defender. At this time, the ball is played in behind, takes a touch to set, one to finish against the goalkeeper. Same rotation, this player comes out, goes to the back of the line, this player becomes the passive defender, this player becomes the striker, and the drill goes right away.
progression of this drill. Ball is played from the midfielder into the striker. He plays the ball back, he spins, and this ball is played over the top as a chip or a scoop. He can either hit that full time on the volley or he can take a touch to set himself and finish. If he is going to take a touch, I recommend trying to meet the ball in the air as that ball is played. So again, ball is played to the defender, he plays back, he spins, sorry, ball is played into the striker, he plays that ball back to the midfielder, he spins, this ball is clipped over the top. If he can meet that in the air, bring it down and finish, or he can let that bounce and hit it on the half volley.